Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at a free dialogue system which is called Dialogue Editor. And you can find this on the Unity Store for absolutely free. We'll look at the simple way to create conversations, then the customization, and it's a really cool little asset. So do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 200 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out all the links in the description for the massive Cinti sale, all the best bundles that I can find for you for this month. Don't miss out. And also on my website, to between 20 and 30% off the Unity Asset Store price on all of my fantastic assets. So to get yourself started, you can navigate to the Unity Asset Store and I'll put the link in the description. And this one's called Dialogue Editor. You can just add it to your assets and open up in Unity. Then when you're in Unity, you can go to your Package Manager, which is Window, Package Manager. And from there, you can go down to Dialogue Editor. You may need to filter by My Assets if it doesn't already. And then you can just download and import. Once it's imported, you get the folder, which is the dialogue editor with its assets, prefabs and things to get you started. It's got some documentation, but we're just going to look at a basic setup to be able to use it on the character. Now we can right click in the hierarchy, create an empty game object, and we're just going to call this robot conversation. And then what we're going to do is going to add a new component to this called NPC conversation. And we need this script to start any conversation. And one caveat to this, because I'd seen some reviews that said, if you try and edit prefabs with conversations, it cannot save the actual object. Now, I don't know if this has been actually fixed, but just be aware it's best to have them in your game or in your hierarchy when you're using them and editing them to make sure that they save properly. Now we can go to window and we can go to dialogue editor. And you can see here when I don't click on anything, when I'm just clicking on empty space, we can set some defaults. So a default sprite or a default text mesh pro font or a continue or an end font, but we'll just leave it as default because you can adjust this accordingly. So the thing is you have speech nodes, which have the characters say something, name this the robot character. We've got, hello, I'm a little robot and how can I help? We've got icons so we can set an, a specific icon. So the ones in the pack is just a little wizard icon, which we'll do for this. You can add an audio and you can set the volume of the audio. So you might want to play. So you could have some speech or you could just have a little notification icon. You can set the font if you want the character to have a specific font. And I do have a tutorial on how to create a custom text mesh pro font. You can add an event if you were going to accept a quest or something that you wanted an action to happen after that. So you could just add an event if you want and do something from there. So from there, we can either create speech if you want the character to say an additional thing, or you could create it. So you left click back on there, or you could have another character which is saying something. You can't actually control Z, but you can right click and you can delete the entire branch in itself. So in this case, I want to create an option. So I've got one option. I've got two options. You can say that in this text, we want to say, I want a quest, please. And then in the second option, go away. <laughs> and then again, you can do the same thing. You can add an event or change the text. The go away section will just end the conversation because it doesn't go to anything. We have to make sure that we create speech from this uh, option node. Then we need to set the name again to robot character. And then I've got some a response, which is save five rabbits from being turned into marshmallows. And again, you can add an event if you wanted to get hold of a quest, but this is just a basic example of how to set this up. Then you can dock the dialogue editor if you so want it. Then from here, we just need to create ourselves a UI and a canvas. We need to right click on the hierarchy, go UI and choose canvas. And this is going to be our conversation canvas. We can name that like so. I'm just going to name this to our scale with screen space and height. I'm going to have 1900 by 1080 just so that we can scale this nicely. So the conversation canvas, you need to add the conversation manager prefab to the canvas. So you can drag that into it and you can see it appear in my game view in the middle here. And you can look at the conversation manager and you've got options to change the background image, the whether the image is sliced, the backing image of the options, and the scroll speed on if you want to be able to scroll it and if you want to allow mouse interactions because say you just wanted some speech and you didn't want to interact with it you can just remove that totally now i already had text mesh pro imported into my scene so it all works fine as we expected if you didn't have text mesh pro imported when you use this it may make the ui look a little bit weird is import text mesh pro delete the conversation manager and then add the conversation manager again to make sure. And then I want to place this 
just a little bit further down here. And do remember, I'll put this entire scene on my Patreon that we've set up in this tutorial so you can get hold of it in case you want to mess around with something like this. So from there, we need to be able to start the conversation that we want and be able to activate that. So I'm going to go to my little object here and I'm just going to create myself a 3D object and a cube. And this is going to act as my sort of trigger event that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to make this slightly bigger. And when I stand in this, we're going to be able to activate the conversation that we want to be able to have with the character. You could do this when you're looking at it with a raycast, but this is just a simple example. I'll just call that conversation trigger and I'm going to get rid of the mesh renderer and just make sure that it is, is trigger. So when I walk into it, it will do something. So I'm going to create a script called conversation starter and then that adds to my character. Now we'll open up in Visual Studio. Then to be able to access the dialogue editor, we need to use a namespace at the top going using dialogue editor. And then from there, we need to create a variable or a conversation variable. So we can create square bracket serialized field, private NPC conversation. And this is going to be my conversation or whatever conversation or name you want that to have. So then what we want to do is to be able to create a simple check or the trigger event to say that if we're in the box and we press the button, we can do it. So I'm going to say void on trigger stay in this case, just so that we make sure that when we're in there, it's checking all of the time for the input. And we say that if other dot compare tag is player. So in my case, I want to make sure that the player's in there. And then if input dot get key down, and then I'm going to say key code. F will do. Then to be able to reference the conversation manager to start this, we can say the conversation manager dot instance dot start conversation. And then we put in the brackets, my conversation or whatever NPC conversation you've referenced. We can close this now. We can go to the conversation trigger and make sure that you add your robot conversation into the conversation starter. Then I want to make sure that in my case, my character has a tag of player. So when I walk into it, it will work. Now you can see my happy robot having a really nice happy day. <laughs> now when I walk into the trigger and I press F, you can see that, hello, I'm a happy robot. How can I help? And then we can just write, in this case, we can write go away and it will end the conversation. Then we can start it again. And you can say, yes, I want a quest, please. And it says save five rabbits from being turned into marshmallows. And we can press end. And then there we go. And you can always go back to your robot conversation and go to the dialogue manager. But you can also make sure that on your event, say you got this quest, you could get rid of this actual object and hide the actual conversation that you created so that you can't walk into it again or hide the trigger. It just depends how you're going to use it. Really nice little system, easy to use, and it's absolutely free. So do check out all the links in the description for all the best sales savings and everything across Game Dev, Unity, Unreal, Godot that you can find for this month. There's massive Cinti packs, massive tutorial bundles, and loads of other stuff, and I'll link down below. Do check out my website for massive savings on all my assets. There's big deals over 40% compared to what you pay on the Unity Asset Store. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 200 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So thank you so much to everybody who comes to support the channel. Big thank you to Peter Steiner and all the rest of the patrons. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.